recently stitched two different creators about two different menu hacks with two different brands and i personally have discrepancies about both brands and how they handle in business let's talk about it we can start with jimmy john's i saw this video so apparently jimmy john's has a red velvet cookie that's a nine out of ten she made that cookie look delicious so the next day i went to jimmy john's i tried it it was delicious i made a video to that effect and then Jimmy John's made a video, and in the caption, they said, Hey, Keith Lee, DM us so we can give you some cool stuff. Now, in my eyes, that in itself isn't a problem. But where I see a problem is that us as creators and brands have a responsibility, and we have to do proper due diligence to give credit where credit is due. I did that like I always do. But when brands come in and they don't do that, it erases what I do. Let's say in this case, I tried the cookies because another creator. I told everybody I tried the cookies because another creator. The brand, Jimmy John's, comes in and they go on the back end and they offer me a deal for a bunch of money. Not saying they did, but I'm saying this hypothetical. They offer me a deal for a bunch of money. I take that deal. I'm the face of Jimmy John's now. Where's the creator that started it? And who gonna get the blame for the creator that started it not being on the forefront and me being on the forefront? Me. Who is that unfair to? Me and the creator. And I'm very transparent. So I commented on a post and I said, DM her. Don't DM me until you DM her, basically. Next up is Quiznos. And the exact same thing has happened again. It's the same story. I saw a video about a Quiznos sandwich that a creator made. This is hands down the best sub I've ever had in my life. And I am willing to die on this hill. She made the sandwich look delicious. I went to try it. It was delicious. I made a video to that effect. Quiznos reached out to me and wanted to send me merch. They did not reach out to her and say anything. Ever since I've posted my Quiznos sub and it's been going viral and everything like that, all of the advertisement directly from Quiznos has been centered around my sandwich. But do you think there's been any type of communication with me, any type of cut, any type of, you know, partnership, anything like that? No. But one major thing that Quiznos is doing that Jimmy John's didn't do and I really don't like is they marketing this sandwich without giving her any credit. They're calling it the comeback sandwich. That's crazy. They're telling you exactly what to get. They've added it to the menu. They are making so much money off of this. And I know that for a fact because everyone I talk to is like the lines are out of the door. I walk in and they immediately know what order I'm talking about because so many people are getting it. And I'm so grateful to Keith Lee. I love him so much. I'm a huge fan. We're both from Michigan too. So that was a plus. This is a sandwich she been eating. Now put yourself in her shoes for a second. You go to your favorite place. You've been eating it all the time. You get the same thing you always got. You make a video about it. Somebody with a large following see your video and make a video and say, she is right. This is delicious. The brand then sees that video and say, oh, the big creator like it? We're going to give the big creator all of the money. And we don't really care about the small creator because the big creator is the one who made it big. If it wasn't for the little creator, it wouldn't be no big creator seeing the little creator's video. Not to say neither of these women are little creators. They both have a platform that they built, and I absolutely respect that. I had Quiznos since I was a kid. I wasn't going to Quiznos before I saw her video. Let's get credit where credit is due. I only want to work with people who are willing to take that step to give credit and respect. With that being said, Quiznos, if you want to work with me, Jimmy Johns, if you want to work with me, you reach out to those women, and then you reach out to me. Any brands that are watching this and are interested in working with Keith, I stand on integrity. I stand on respect. God is amazing. I am not in this specifically for money. I am in this to take care of my family. And what take care of my family is me being me. But I will not deter who I am for any amount of money or any opportunity. I only want what's mine. Nothing more or nothing less. Reach out to the women. <laughs> God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe.